Hey guys, Bad Infos here and welcome to another GTA San Andreas 100% walkthrough video. Today we're going to do only 3 side missions and they're all very boring. So today we're going to do valid parking, taxi and pimping. These 3 missions are very boring but I have to do them for 100% completion. We're gonna start with valid. Now for taxi and Pimping, I don't have these amazing crazy ideas of how to pass them quickly and efficiently so yeah I'm gonna do them the standard standard way but for valid parking I have a great idea which will save you like half the, the time you would normally do it so in order to activate this mission you have to wear the valid uniform you cannot do it in this outfit in whatever else outfit you have to go to your house and get the valid uniform so what I'm gonna do is go all the way back to Grove Street because I'm a cheap bastard and I'm not gonna buy any new houses here closer. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Glo Grove Street, dress up in a valid uniform and I'll be back here and do the mission. We have arrived to Grove Street, the land of bolas. It's full of bolas, so many bolas that it's very dangerous being here. So anyway, to get the valid uniform just go to special, valid uniform and dress up like that. You need this uniform for the mission. So, what I'm gonna do is go all the way back to San Firo and start it. On the way, however, I'm gonna pick up a car. This car in particular is very important for the pimping missions. You cannot do the pimping missions if you're not in this car. So you can find it right over here. Right over here. I'm gonna take it to San Firo, store it in the garage and I'll start the mission when it's time. Okay, I'm here, I have arrived and I have my outfit, so I'm completely ready, but before we go, I wanna teach you something about sprinting. So, sprinting is done by holding the shift button, or the sprint button, whatever you have remapped it, and this is the normal running speed. CG runs pretty fast, but if you tap the sprint button, he runs a lot faster, you can see a noticeable difference. So let me do it while running normally. This is the normal running, and this is the sprint running the faster running. As you can see, if you're tapping you're going a lot faster. This thing is gonna help you immensely during this mission. What I suggest before starting the mission is to increase your stamina to max by going to the gym or just cycling or just basically running around everywhere. You're gonna increase your stamina. Or doing the burglary missions. After passing the burglary missions you're gonna have infinite sprint which is gonna help so much during this mission. I have not passed it, so don't have infinite sprint, but it doesn't matter because I have the tap function, like that. Okay, so before you start the mission, what you wanna do is kill all these guys. If you kill them during the mission, you're gonna lose time, so what I like doing is running them over like so. They're gonna chase you by the way, and you're gonna get a star always, so do this, there we go. Just kill them like so, and start the mission, valid parking. And you have to wait for for cars. So let's see, does this car count? It does not count, okay. So now cars are gonna come to you. And whenever you, your stars disappear, you're gonna get lots of stars during this mission. Whenever your stars disappear, place a satchel right over here. And these guys are gonna despawn, respawn, by the way. Always. Why you bother to chase me? I'm passing you! But if you kill one person, uh, only that person is gonna disappear, you know? Okay, so what you do is whenever your stars disappear, place a satchel here, and whenever the level changes, you're gonna explore the satchel. That's gonna kill the valid. So, now what you do for this first level is kill them again, like so, and you lose time. And you have enough time, don't worry, to pass the mission. So, what you do is park it here. This is the basic idea of it. Let's kill this bastard too. No props. There we go. Now my method is a lot harder than a normal method. So don't be fooled. You can do it your way. It's a lot slower. Oh, I, s I forgot to tap sprint. As you can see the tap sprint is so fast. So there's lots of things to talk about so I'm sorry if I'm going all over the place. But this mission has to be done precisely how I'm doing it. If you're doing it my way you have to do it precisely like I'm doing it. Or either way, you can do it your own way, because that's a lot easier, but I like a challenge. This mission is very boring if you're not doing it how I'm doing it. And also, I'm not parking them correctly. That's on purpose, because you're actually saving more time this way. And you can do it a lot faster this way. So, 
After this last car in this level, I'm gonna explode that satchel. That satchel is gonna kill all these people, and that way, this car, the next car is not gonna be taken by valets, and I don't have to wait for them to park it again. So park your car like that. Whenever the level level second starts, you can explode it. Plop, there we go. You killed the pallet, 20 second pallet. As you can see, I killed fun. all of them and they didn't take my car, so I don't have to wait right over here for them to pick it up and another car to arrive. The point here is to not damage the car too much on the way there and park it however you wish, like so, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the parking bonus, it's so little that it doesn't even matter. So we have 5 levels in this uh, pallet parking mission. And if you do it the way I'm doing it, it's a lot more exciting and a lot more fun. If you do it the traditional way, there's lots of waiting involved. You have to wait for the valet to pick them up, to, to park them. They're gonna be in your way here in the garage. So don't do it the normal way. At least that's, that's how I like doing it. I like doing it my way. If you increase your stamina to max, it's gonna be even better because CJ is eventually gonna run out of stamina. If he parks the car all the way over there to the far side of the garage, right over there at the end, he's gonna run out of stamina, which is not good for you. But now, as you can see, I have no stars, so I'm gonna place a satchel right in the middle. The, the place to set the satchel is right over here, not close to the car, by the way, because it's gonna explode. They do explode if you place it too close and if you don't do place it exactly where I'm placing it it's not gonna kill all the valets and it's very important to kill all the valets so there we go next car delivered level 2 and when level 3 starts I'm gonna explore it like so there we go and I got a star so you can repeat this over and over again as soon as my star disappears I'm going to I'm placing another statue. As you can see also, my statue uh, damaged the car, but as soon as you get into the car, it's gonna be full health. So yeah, that's it guys. I'll skip these levels and I'll see you at level 5. And here we go, this is level 5. This is the last car I have to park. And also, I forgot to say, when level 5 starts, do not place a statue charge because there's no level 6. Normally, you place it at the end of each level and in the next level, you explode it, you activate it, but there's no level 6, so we don't need to do that. So there we go, last car has been parked. There we go, asset acquired, oh yeah. This property will now generate a revenue up to a maximum of 2000 bucks, make sure you collect it regularly. No props, I'm never gonna going to collect it, because I don't need to. So there we go, I cannot get this car, it doesn't drive. Anyway, that's it for the valid parking. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And I cannot drive this one either. Ah, trolley game. So what I'm gonna do now is go all the way back to Grove Street because I'm a cheap bastard and I'm not gonna buy any other house. Undress, dress up in my normal clothes and I'll see you with the pimping missions. I'm all dressed up, I have no pants on and I'm ready to take this mission on. I actually do have pants on. Anyway, let's start the mission. Start the mission, I said. There we go. There's a girl nearby, go pick her up. So this mission is basically like the taxi mission. You have to pick up girls and you have to take them to their customers, which is just the same as taxi, but two times during this mission, something bad is gonna occur. One of the customers is gonna try to kill our girl and we have to protect our girl. That's the only difference during this mission. Now, let me show you how it works. Just take a girl, this girl, Come on, baby. And take her to the destination. Now, usually I like doing this in Las Venturas, but I decided to do it now because I didn't want a, a huge video of only pimp, of only valet parking, because that's gonna be a very boring video, don't you think? So I decided to put this on here and taxi the taxi missions over here as well. Even though I like doing it in Las Venturas. So there we go, basically park right here at the customer and there we go we have to pick up another girl get away Broadway 
And also I showed you where you got the Broadway. You have to use a Broadway. This one is in Los Santos. That's where I take it always. But you can also find them here. They always also spawn here. In, in San Fierro, in Las Venturas, absolutely everywhere. So there we go. You have to take two girls only during this mission. The same two girls. No, don't kill my girl. The same two girls. Come on, baby. Hello. She's actually hot. The other one had soggy tits. Ew. Disgusting. Anyway, Juniper Hill. Here we come. Treat me right. Also, there's no indicator of which level you're on. So, it will be pretty difficult to see exactly where, where you are in the mission. And with each delivery you get more and more money. And the reward is pretty stupid. So, this mission is completely... Bogus. It's, it's terrible. It, why is it even in the game? I don't know, but it is. What can I do? Come on. And also this car is very slow and in San Firo it's a slow car is not good because we have all these hills. Come on. Pimping level. There we go. And uh, let's go back to our first girl. Finish with a customer. Yeah, you get the idea. It's the same girl as you can see. The soggy tits girl. There we go. Come on. Baby, there you go. And in the next level, that one over there is gonna have trouble with her customer. He's not gonna pay her. It's Palandi Nord. Also, don't trigger this mission if you are gonna trigger it in San Fierro. Don't trigger it on this part. Come on, on this part of the map because some of the girls are gonna spawn right over here. And that's so terrible because you have to climb all the way up there. Also, as you probably saw, you have a time limit when you have to take a girl to a destination, but to pick up a girl, you don't have a time limit, so you can take however much you want, and if your car is damaged too much, you can go to pay and spray. The first time you go to pay and spray, it's free, but the second time is not, so be aware of that. Oof, there you go, come on. Stupid rain, why is it raining? Okay, let's go to the girl. And you get the idea, I'm gonna show you what happens if one of the customers does not pay. So I'm gonna skip to that. And this is what happens when one of the girlfriends is in trouble. The punk will not pay, so we have to kill him. Now killing him may trigger these guys, the police officers. So be wary of that. And also don't kill your girl, if you kill your girl it's over. So be careful, if you're gonna run him over, then be careful not to kill your girl and also you can use you can get out and use weapons if you wish or you can shoot from the car which is also a viable option but I like what I like doing is waiting for them to move out of the way and then running them over that way the girl is not in trouble so this guy is very far away he's all the way down here I believe yeah that's, yeah right here so I'm gonna skip to him and here he is, let's kill him. Come on. And plop. That's it. Let's take the girl and take her to the destination. As you can see, we don't have an indicator of which level we are on exactly. There's 10 levels. But on the top we have a bar. That bar is not very accurate. <laughs> Look at this guy. Ha, <laughs> so funny. Okay, let's go take the girl and I'll see you at the end of level 10. And there we go, mission passed. I missed the end of it, sorry about that, but there's no indicator, guys, so I cannot even know. So let me show you the reward you get after you do this mission. And here's the reward, you have to find one of these prostitutes, get her in your car. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Basically, park her in a very secure location, very romantic location. There we go, this is gonna do. Or is it? No, this is underneath the highway, so they're probably gonna hear us. Okay, so let's park. Where shall we park? This should do right. Please tell me what it's gonna do. No? Oh, yes, it does. Okay. So this happens, and she is gonna actually pay you. As you can see, your money is rising. And that's it, that's the whole reward. This is so stupid, this is such an idiotic mission. 
This is basically taxi with a little twist. You was great. I was incredible. <laughs> yeah. And that's it guys. That's it for the whole mission and the reward. Oh. So mega stupid. Ah, anyway. Oh, thanks for the money. I will go safe and do the taxi missions. Let's begin the taxi missions. The taxi missions can be done in either one of these taxi vehicles, the cabby or the taxi. The taxi is, I think, better, so I'm gonna use the taxi. Do I activate this to press that and find the fare? This is a very stupid mission that we have it in every single GTA game, and it's so boring, so annoying, so stupid. I'm gonna show you only one fare because it's so stupid. And in this game we have a tip bar, just like we do in uh, Liberty City Stories. And basically you have to take her to the destination, if you damage the taxi too much, the tip is gonna decrease, and if you take too long, it's also gonna decrease. So if you care about money, just drive slowly, and drive carefully, and that's it. You have to complete 50 fares, not in a row, it's not important to be in a row, but I like doing it in a row because I have I get so many bonuses if I do it in a row. So, I have to do this for a while because there's 50 fares, guys. 50 fares is a lot. At least it's not 100 like in Liberty City Stories. Oh, so terrible there. At least it's 50, so it's okay, it's not that bad. And sometimes the destinations are so far away and sometimes it's on a hill or something. So I prefer doing this in Las Venturas, but as I said, I don't want this whole video to be only with valid parking. So I added this one with the valid parking. So yeah, very boring mission, it's gonna take a huge amount of time, and the destinations are so far away, why is it so far away? Holy crap! I wasted a whole minute doing this, oh man. But the reward is pretty good, so... Yeah, I like the reward, very cool. I'm also gonna show the reward afterwards, of course, after 50 fares. And that's it, I got a little bit of tip. Hey, right on time! Hey, hey, right on time! And that's it, basically take the other person and that's it. That's all you have to do. So, see you guys after 50 fares. I actually completed this mission in a row without dying from starvation holy crap guys this is this is not a an easy thing to do nitro yeah i have nitro so you die from starvation in this game if you take too long you die from starvation and actually i did it in a row if you do it in a row it takes like 50 minutes i think it took me about 50 minutes to complete a stupid mission fuck this mission seriously this mission is so terrible but I did it actually in a row, which is so amazing, I'm so happy I got 29,000 bucks from it. So what I'm gonna do now is go save and show you what you can do with this new cool feature. This right here what I'm gonna show you is the taxi boost. The taxi boost is a reward from the taxi missions and is beloved by all. This is a stunting method. Many stunters like to use this because it's easy to use. Basically what you do is rebind your horn to the scroll wheel and scroll when you want to jump and you can jump on the wall and that's gonna boost you way up in the sky hence the taxi boost name the other reward i mentioned is the nitro you always get nitros in every single taxi you enter and they'll have unlimited uses if you get out of the taxi and enter again you're gonna be able to activate it again straight away without waiting between activating sessions so that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video, pretty boring missions, but hopefully I was entertaining enough for you to enjoy this video, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.